What's up guys, it's Bishop here with a new vlog for 7-Eleven. I'm actually sick, I got real sick tonight in the middle of cutting grass, so this video won't be long, but let's go into the day. Today, great day at work. I had several meetings that all went well. It was a good day. On my lunch break, I went to White Castle again for jalapeno sliders. Then I went and got a milkshake. I don't know what I was thinking. It was like I was celebrating that I finished the putt putt hole. However, after I ate it, I felt terrible. Now I know that combination in general is probably terrible. If, if I tell anyone, hey, guess what I had today? They would say, oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. I know that, however, usually my stomach is strong enough to handle that. Anyway, finished work good. After work, went to Speedway, got a fountain drink, got my wife some drinks, then went to my parents, met her, my son, and them there, had dinner there, then cut grass. In the middle of cutting grass, after the second yard onto my third, stomach dropped. It was bad. Got sick again, stomach dropped again. Took a shower because of how icky I was feeling. Watched a show with my wife. Now we're gonna watch Big Brother as we go to bed. But it's early, this might be the earliest I've gone to bed in a long time. I'm happy for that. I feel good about that. I just hope that I feel better tomorrow. However, today uh, at work, during my break, I was able to read my devotional. The devotional was out of Psalm 116.2, I believe. Uh, the psalmist writes that he, God, inclined his ear towards him, so he will live for him. The psalmist will live for God the rest of his life, for the rest of his days, or forever, with, depending on which translation you're reading. It made me realize that how often when we're talking to someone, whether you're out with family, friends, or even strangers, and you're engaging in conversation with them, and if they're doing this, they may or may not be listening, but they're obviously distracted or feel like that's more important than what you're saying. If you're talking to someone and they're like looking away, but like, ah, oh, cool, yeah, man, me too. And, and it's like, okay, I didn't, I didn't, what I just said did not require the response, me too. I asked you a question, yes or no, and you said me too. It's clear they really weren't listening. But if you're engaging with someone in conversation and they kind of incline that ear, you feel like, wow, they are listening to me. I, I like this. I want to carry on a conversation here. This relationship is good. He or she is listening to what I'm saying because they, they, mm, they've inclined that ear towards me. To hear that the God of the universe is not going, mm, me too, Andrew, while I'm praying, and instead he's listening. While you're praying, he's listening. He's not distracted. He's not like, oh, I'm, I'm in the middle over here creating this a galaxy or doing this. Oh, is he praying? Oh, yeah, what'd you say? Says some, something about praying for anxiety? Oh, okay, yeah. I, no, God is not distracted. He has no distractions. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And let me tell you, the Bible is clear that he listens and hears prayers. He listens to you. He listens to me. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, the people that know us physically are with us, walk with us every day. They don't even listen to us. Facts. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. The people closest to us, there are times when you're talking to them, they ain't listening. The God of the universe is inclining his ears to hear what we say. That's beautiful. I love you guys. Say a prayer for me. Thanks. Subscribe to the channel. Sign up for notifications.